Hello everyone, Timmy here again. Today I want to talk about a tool I made which I call Remote Software Center. The idea behind it was pretty much being able to do the same tasks you do in Software Center like installing, uninstalling, uh, different applications, operating systems, up Windows updates, etc. Uh, from a remote location. So you don't have to manually log on to the computer and do these things. So if we take a look on the right side, here's my site server. I'm just gonna launch the application. It's, well, it's a PowerShell script made and with a GUI on top, pretty much. And this is what it looks like so far. Uh, let's start with connecting to our client that's on the left side <clears throat> and as soon as we click connect it starts uh, getting information about all the available task sequence all the available applications and all the available software updates we also get the uh, in this GUI, uh, a doc well, it just shows off like we're connected to the, this computer and stuff like that. If we try to connect to a computer that's not online, it would look like this. Uh, no such computer or computer is offline. And we get an error code, pretty much. Uh, it's not perfect, but it works. Uh, let's see, where were we? Yup, 010. And we're back. So let's start out with applications. We only have one available right now, that's WinRAR. And if we go over to the client, uh, we can see down here we have WinRAR. It's available. Let's jump over to the server and click install app. And it should start pretty much instantly. Did it start? Yeah, it did. <laughs> Just took some time. Uh, so, as we can see, the WinRAR application is now installing. And that's exactly what we wanted. Uh, one feature I haven't implemented yet is the, uh, well, a feature to uninstall. Uh, but that uh, I will do that in a later release, for sure. This is just a concept showing off the general idea behind it. And the same goes for uh, software updates. If we want to install a software update, we can use pick whatever one we want. Let's go for security update. Click install sub. And we can see it started going to downloading. Same thing again with task sequence. If we choose a task sequence, say let's do uh, it doesn't even matter, OSD2. Let's click install, OSD. And as you can see, the operating, well, the OSD task sequence started. So this was just a short video showing off this tool. Uh, I'm gonna continue adding features to this one. Uh, if you have any questions, please post them in the video below or in the comment section below, or you can go to my blog, post questions there. Uh, I'm also on Twitter, you can post questions there. Uh, is there any specific feature people would like to see? Just give me a shout out and uh, we take it from there. So yeah, great, thank you so much. See you around.